Hey, I'm Smoonie Chen. Before we begin, just to catch everyone up, The Lathe Wars is a new cinematic series on the channel where uh, viewer-created nations battle throughout the Kerbolar system. And if you haven't already, go back and watch the intro video that's playing on the screen now. A link should pop up in the top right corner for that. Uh, here is our current map um, at the start of this episode. We're currently filled up to about 13 nations. If you want to follow along with the full res map, you can get it on my Discord server, where you can also join uh, existing nations while there's still some room left. Uh, there will be a link to this court in the description, but for now we're going to head back over to Kerbin where the majority of today's video is actually going to be taking place. We begin in the nation of Strelka, where their rather familiar looking ARP-71 is about to take off on a very dangerous mission. Due to mounting tensions on Kerbin since the uh, war broke out on Lathe, Strelka has hatched this mission to check out some rather strange anomalies from their neighboring country, the Independent Design Bureau, or IDB. The IDB is a rather mysterious country which uh, borders encompass both polar ice caps. You may remember them from the last video where they sent the uh, pretty suspect uh, shipment to the KSR there. <laughs> so with good reason, Strelka, who is allied with the United Diversion Republic, a country which the IDB has been in an extended cold war with, is pretty suspicious of their northern neighbors to say the least. Nonetheless, the Strelkan pilots press on, not quite sure what they'll find on the other side. Now heading far to the west, just off the coast of the United Diversion Republic's mainland, is the UDR-controlled island of Norwich. The island's economy is based around mining its many precious resources. There is a single road leading in and out of the capital city, and on this road is a security checkpoint. Its main purpose is to vet passports and certifications of the many trucks needed to keep this very remote city supplied. Today, five mostly unidentified trucks have arrived at the checkpoint. Though very suspicious, security here is lax, and after providing all the needed paperwork showing that they were bringing in food from a cargo ship docked miles away, the five trucks, one by one, were allowed in. As they approach the city and begin to line up on a side street, I don't think anyone could have truly predicted what would happen next.
After the brutal attack on the city, three of the strange drones remain, fleeing over the ocean in seemingly random directions. The UDR is still shaken up from the attack launched AI of 26 Stranger to intercept and bring down one of the drones with minimal damage to investigate their origins. Going back east now to the Kerbal Socialist Republic, who given recent events have been launching regular patrols over their more contested regions. One of which is a jutting section of their border, once before the Great War, controlled by the Milk Federation, it's now called the Droplet. And little does this MiG-21 pilot know, he's wanted, dead or alive. few hundred kilometers away at the Milk Federation capital, something truly exciting has just happened. Sergeant Sergey Kerman is now forklift certified. Meanwhile, outside the city, an AVF-84 Spectre stands by ready for launch. Its mission? Take down a KSR MiG-21 and send a violent message over the droplet. Within Kerbin's Arctic Circle lies a small peninsula, which due to a ceasefire that helped end the Great War, remains part of the Yogurt Federation's overseas territories. Boasting only one airfield and a large pier for wavered ships, the Yogurt Federation is very afraid that the recent military buildup of the IDB on its borders could easily wipe them off the peninsula. They plan to launch a single YF-73 Typhoon fighter bomber to take out a column of IDB ground vehicles heading for the new IDB airbase near the border. But things take a turn for the worse when a very familiar drone is able to break free and head straight towards the Yogurt Federation's own airfield.
We are now on the border of the Kerbal Swept Republic and the United Diversion Republic, where the TKSR's UFX Xi Recon variant, built under contract with their ally the IDB, is attempting to get some close-in info of one of the UDR's mini bases on their mountainous border. But, unlucky for the TKSR drone, the UDR has seriously upped its defenses since the drone attack on Norwich Island, and is willing to do anything to defend this base. Staying on the topic of recon, an unmanned R-1 recon drone from the POE is surveying the southern tip of the very mysterious and very touristy Cinnamon Federation. Back at the POE mainland, they are launching the first of a planned constellation of recon satellites that should be able to give accurate GPS data to any ground or air weapons that may need it. And finally, we go back to Leith, where the KSR is standing by to take revenge on the USK. The mighty Admiral Kermistov carrier sits fully loaded off the shore of Northrop Island. The USK knows it's there, but there isn't much they can do. Given the distance between Leith and Kerbin, the USK has been waiting on new aircraft and weapons to arrive for months, and they're currently stretched dangerously thin, a weakness that the KSR seeks to exploit. KSR MiG 21s take off one Mo 1 off the Admiral Kermanstov with one goal burn the USK's new base to the ground.
as we land our MiG 21s after a successful mission, is officially the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching this far. This was a massive undertaking. It took over a month from the original concept to get this video finished, and that was with me working most days and nights on it. But it wasn't just me. The members of the various nations and the rest of the great folks on Discord made this possible. There will be full credits after this, listing everyone who helped out in the Lathe Wars Episode 1, so make sure to stick around for those. And uh, remember, if you want to get featured in one of these videos in the next episode, uh, make sure to join. Uh, there's still some room left in the nations, though we might cap them off at around 8 or 10. So uh, check that out. Uh, the Discord will be in the description. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. Roll the credits.